Welcome, February maintenance has finally ended, and as you might have already know, we got Avrela banner going right now. There are a lot of things about her that I want to talk about. For one, there is a huge misconception from the previous information that I got. So at first, the information that I got was before R2, she can only resurrect one ally. But it turns out, even at R0, she is already able to resurrect all allies, and her R2 only removes the condition for the undying buff. In short, at R2 you don't need your ally to die and get resurrected by her first to get the undying buff. So even at R0, she's already good enough. Think of her as Alma. That is basically how R0 Avrela will be. And the second misconception that I got was, I thought she could resurrect herself. As in, if she died, she'll activate her S3, sorta like Avneo Resurrection. But it turns out, it didn't work that way. About her build, by the time I'm making this video, the discussion is still going. But one thing for sure, she wants at least one pair of CS set. And just like what you just saw, if she can't get her turn, she practically has no value. So you want her to be a bit bulky, at least enough to tank some damage and a bit speedy. The next thing that I wanna talk about is, you can buy a regular 5 star selector ticket now, monthly. Yes, a regular 5 star selector ticket. And they also put a weekly cast box, the same cast box that appears in the weekly panel missions. It gives you 10 selectable cast mat per box, and some other items that you can buy in this RTS shop. For now, the shop is already here, but from what I heard, you can only get the currency starting from the next season. The price looks cheap now, but we'll have to see how much we can earn next season. So prepare yourself, cause doing RTA will be worth more than ever. You see, this game has improved by a lot. There was this one game that I played in the past, and when that game was on the brink of its end, it did the last cast grab move before eventually ditching the game. It failed though. I think you are familiar with this game narrative being on low revenue. But rather than doing a dirty move like the example I just gave you, this game is continuously trying to improve itself instead. They listen and truly improve the game's environment. Carrot Battle is too hard, they added a skip ticket for it. They also added skip ticket for event stage. Getting cat orb currency is too slow, they added a distant trial that helps you with it. And simultaneously, it also fixes so many problems including the green clock problem and all. Getting the summon ticket is slow, they added weekly panel missions, permanent event. Distant Trials Weekly Reward, Cat Orb Shop, The Extended Battle Pass, and True Events, and more. Gear Casting, for more exact, cast mats used to be an issue, but look at it now. You can even buy it through the RTS shop now. Alliance Exercise was absent for more than a year back then, but then it came back. Surely it gets adjusted, but I'd be lying if I said that the new Alliance Exercise didn't help. The schedules are also transparent now. They revamped the seasonal arena gear substats from all blues to purple. And lastly, RTA is worthy content now. Really, all you have to do is just do the game's contents. That's all. And the sad thing is, I still see many people stuck in the past AG. I know what people do and think are beyond my control. But this kinda sad people drove the new players away with their doomers narrative. It is just sad. This game didn't get the attention it deserved. 